It's the first annual Purdue Collegiate EV Grand Prix, and we are here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to find the best and brightest teams. It's about education. Uh, for, uh, what we want to do is uh, give our students a hands-on education in electrical and mechanical engineering uh, with also having a competition which requires them to have a product that runs on time and on spec for race day. A special course was built and the winner will be the team with the overall best car design, race placement and energy efficiency. This is going to set the stage for tomorrow's scientists, technologists and engineers to apply new and exciting technologies learned in the classroom and proven on the track. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know. Even the Gas Grand Prix has been around for 54 years, hasn't even had a chance to be here. So it's, it's a really huge event and we're really excited. We probably put in about 400 man hours in the past nine days on this cart and just getting everything troubleshoot and stuff. It really applied all the things that we've learned in our classwork. Oh, being here today is just such a thrill. Uh, we've been preparing this since, uh, since last October. Uh, we first met the guys from Purdue when we were over on a, a trade mission with, uh, with some colleagues from the United Kingdom. Uh, when we found out there was an electric vehicle kart race being organised here at Indianapolis of all places, uh, this has been uh, such a tremendous thrill for us, a marvellous opportunity for the students to, uh, you know, to both get involved in the race but also to learn a tremendous amount about this technology. One word, amazing. Being here, seeing all these grandstands, the, the sheer scale of this, being invited to such an event, such a privilege for me. Tell me what it's like to see these students from all over the world working on the technology of the future. I think it's really interesting. I, I, technology is the thing that has kind of become absent from motorsports in America in the last few years. And I'm real happy to see that, that technology is starting to resurface, and especially with the electric vehicles. This track was actually had its first race 100 years ago to change the perception of the horseless carriage versus the mechanized car. And here we are again 100 years later doing the same thing but trying to change public perception on electric vehicles. We like to be involved uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, we get a chance to help the kids. Um, you know, help get them encouraged about our technology, uh, get them encouraged about motorsports. Um, for us, it's also an opportunity to see what the uh, next workforce is going to be. So some of these kids coming out are going to be a lot more advanced. Uh, we'll get an opportunity to bring them in the workforce ready to go as opposed to having to bring them up to speed. There's something pretty unique about the state of Indiana. We have this great institution called the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and just a few minutes or an hour north of us, we have this great institution called Purdue University. So the opportunity to take the brain power of Purdue University and put it on this stage, this international stage of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, is a fantastic way uh, to showcase two great Indiana institutions. The future of transportation is changing, and the Collegiate EV Grand Prix looks to charge the innovation of personal vehicles with new and exciting technologies. For Boiler Bites, I'm Robert Colcord.